why does my e-juice change color? Well, there's two reasons for this. The first one is oxidization. This is what happens when the nicotine within the e-juice meets air. The oxygen in the air combines with the nicotine and it, as a chemical reaction, it changes color. Now, this affects the entire e-juice because the nicotine is mixed through and it mixes and darkens up the color there. If you're vaping on a zero, uh, zero mg vape juice with no nicotine, you're not going to find this problem. However, if you do vape with nicotine, you will see this happening. So all that happens is when you open your bottle of e-juice, air gets in there, it causes nicotine to change color. I've got two bottles of e-juice here. These are the same e-juice that I've transferred from a 100 ml bottle. And you can see the one on the right is darker than the one on the left. It's not a huge difference there. All I've done is expose the one on the right to a bit of oxygen. I've put it in the bottle and I've left the lid off just for the purposes of this video. Two bottles, they're going to bake the same, taste the same. It's exactly the same e-juice. It's just got that slight difference in the colorization. Once you get the e-juice into your tank, once it's all loaded in there, you'll find that it changes color a lot quicker. That's a combination of factors. You've got a lot more air getting in. You've got your open airflow. You've got your uh, chuff cap, whatever that may be, and the air can get in there and change the color. There's also heat going on within your within your tank. You're obviously vaping there, so you're heating the coils up, and that heat can uh, speed up the process of oxidization. There's also another process that's going on as well during the heating, and that's called caramelization. Now this is actually affecting the VG component of your juice, the vegetable glycerin, which is essentially a sugar. So what's happening is you're heating up, you're getting the vape out, and the sugars are remaining on the coil. And that's how you get that gunky mess that actually ends up clogging up your coil. Or if you use an RDA, it's what you're getting stuck all over your wicks. If you're using a high VG juice or a very sweet juice, you'll find this happens a lot quicker. It's not anything to really worry about. You can usually vape for a while with the gunky coils, but the best thing to do when you do get gunked up like that, change the coil over, clean your tank out, or if you're using an RDA, change your wick and dry burn. Okay, that's essentially it. The change of color to your Aegis does not really affect the flavor or the all the vapor production, you're gonna still get your big clouds with darker liquid. A darker liquid does not mean it's going off, it doesn't mean it's out of date or anything like that, it's just oxidization is taking place. If you if you do do some steeping of some liquids, now you might do this depending on where you get your liquids from, where you need to steep them. I'll do a separate video on what steeping is at another point. So oxidization is part of the steeping process. Okay, that's it for this video. Any questions on that, leave a comment below. Leave a comment if you've got everything, any other questions about vaping. I can do a video or I can do a Q&A or I can answer your comment if it's nice and simple. Uh, I do do other videos on vaping. I do vape reviews. I also do a daily vlog, so please subscribe to my channel. Leave a like if you like this video. Big old thumbs up there. And follow me on Twitter. It's at one purple mongoose. That's the number one purple mongoose. For now, though. Bay